Good morning guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a um, empties on my skincare. As you guys will probably know, looking back on my other video, I have been using the um, Ordinary products by this company. Um, I have now used the, the whole lot up, apart from, I've got quite a bit of this one left, is the... Um, Retinol 2% Emulsion, this is the Cream Thick Yellowy Coloured Serum, I've still got half a bottle of that left and I do have about half a bottle of the Retinol um, with Squalene which is the oil based one so I'll be putting that aside, I have ordered some more of the ones that I've used so let's get started um, the first thing I use in the, once I've cleansed my face Let's start with this one first, sorry. I've been using this. I have run out, but I have purchased the bigger one to go with the other products that I'm gonna show you in a minute. This is amazing. This is the Dragon Blood Cleansing Water by Riddell. And it smells amazing. It's got a little pump thing, so you just put your cotton bud on and push, and the uh, liquid stuff comes up into the tube there and pumps up onto your pad. Brilliant stuff once you've cleansed this guys, really nice stuff and it gives you a base for all your other skincare to go on to. So I have been using the Hyaluronic um, Marine Hyaluronic which is the more watery based one, I think I've got a little tiny bit left in here, which is very, very watery. I used to use that one first. Then I use the hyaluronic acid, which is the, I don't think I've got any of this left at all, which is the really, really gooey serum. Love it. Then I would use the buffer, which is multi-peptide serum. And this is quite a gloopy serum too. Then in the evening, that would be my day care, and in the evening then I would add these two, which is the uh, retinol emulsion and the retinol with squalene, which is oil. These are all made of natural, natural ingredients. All of these. Apart from the two in the brown bottle, which, like I said, I use them at night, but the other three I would use in the day. And then I would use just, um, I use my, um, L'Oreal Age Rewind uh, Moisturiser and in that also I use this which is the Monu Collagen Eye Cream which I had in one of my beauty boxes I'll try and show you that see the light's awful there you go, that one the ordinary, what can I say about that, I love it I absolutely love it. I have used it um, previously in the past. Um, what I want to try and do though is stick to one kind of skincare and not change it. Right, I love it. I probably will be going back to that once I've used this skincare regime, which I'm going to show you now. Um, a couple of people I know in the States have been using the Ella Frida range. Um, Sharon Taylor for one of them. Thank you, Sharon, for um, giving me the hint on this. I contacted Ella Frida um, back, I think it was last year, and unfortunately they said they wasn't shipping to the UK at the moment, so they would give me um, a nudge sort of kind of thing when it was available. So I had an email through from Ella Frida um, saying that the items can be shipped to the UK now. Um, takes probably a couple of weeks to get the stuff. I said, that's fine. I ordered the whole range, right, from everything they had on that. Unfortunately, the moisturiser was something in the ingredients which they prohibited. So I couldn't have the moisturiser cream. But I do have everything else. I did buy all these. None of it's sponsored. I wasn't given it for, or anything. So this is my take on the Ella Frida. I've been using it for a couple of weeks now and I'm quite 
enjoying that. When I first started using it though, I did come up in a, the first week I came up and I had a couple of breakouts, um, which all I did was put, um, I had um, a spot gel comb in one of my boxes and I just put a little tiny bit, I had a couple of spots here and one here and a couple over here. But I think it was just because I changed my whole regime on what I was using. Anyway, let's get started with this guys. Okay, first of all, there is this. And this is the Ella Frida Coconut Honey and Aloe Cleanser. It has got quite a bit, little bit of a coconut smell to it, but nothing really major. Um, yeah, and that's that one. Quite like it. Not too bad. But I use this first. Then I use the Vitamin C Serum. Now this is quite a liquidy serum. I thought it was going to be quite a thick serum, but it's not. It's quite watery, so be careful. What I normally do is just... Something else I didn't like about this look. I don't know if anybody else had this problem. My thing actually can come right up. Can you see? It's not supposed to do that, I don't think. I don't think the glue was... Anyway. This is what I do with this, I just pump it onto my face. I just put one pump there, one there, one there, one there. And then I go from the inside of my face out and then down to my neck. That's the vitamin C serum. The next thing after that I use is this, and this is the hyaluronic serum. Now this is a thick serum, but like I do again, I just use this bit there. Bit there, bit there, bit there, and then from the inside to out again and down to your neck. Quite like that one. Now in the evening, I would use the retinol, retinol moisturiser. Only in the evening, and if you are using the retinol um, in the evening, next day please use a high factor sun cream because it can cause sun damage, so always use a sunscreen. Also, a new thing that they've come out with, which I was just in time to get, was the face and neck firming lotion. Now, I use this morning and night, which is very nice. Then I've got this, which is the Ella Frida Microderm Abrasion, which can be used three times a week. It's got like this little kind of tiny, let me see it, it's kind of a bluey colour. It's got little tiny gritty bits in it that has a lovely scent to it. I do enjoy using this and like I said, I will be using all these things until they run out and then I'll do a review on the both of them and which I found is the nicest. Also, I, in one of my beauty boxes, I had this lash oil. My lashes have grown so much. Not sure if you can see on camera but they are massive, huge. And also I've been putting it on my eyebrows because I've got a bald patch in here, which I try and fill with a eyebrow pen, but I don't always get it right. So if they look odd, that's why. This is a beautiful little product. I'm sure you can get it um, if you go onto the site Bow. It's an organic um, lash cream, uh, lash serum. And I do like that. That's really nice. And also, I do use the eye cream as well in the evening. So that is my regime for um, Ordinary and the Ella Frida. Like I said, I have actually ordered these three items again from Look Fantastic, the Buffet the Hyaluronic and the Marine Hyaluronic. I have ordered them again. So I have two half bottles of these. So probably what I'll do once I finish the Ella Frida, I'll go back to the ordinary. Um, Ella Frida is reasonably priced, not as cheap as the ordinary. In the ordinary, you can get the whole this whole set for like maybe thirty pound for the whole set, less than that maybe. Um, and that would last me a good, I reckon, three or four months. So that's not too bad. But 
ten pound a month or less. So that is my um, skincare at the moment, guys. I will do another video once I finish using the Ella Frida. I might even do a video later on, sometime in the week, of my nighttime regime using the Ella Frida stuff. And um, if I do, I'll put that video up as well. So that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. If you do like this, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're passing by. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video, which will probably be a review I've got on some rose water. See you soon, bye.